So, you're going to build yourself a robot, huh? Of course, you'll need some motor control. You're definitely going to need to think about power and signal length. And those safety regulations, right? I knew it. You're building a robot to battle other robots. Of course. Have you considered TE's dynamic connectors? You probably should. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. Maybe you aren't building a robot to fight other robots, perhaps for a television show that I love to watch. But if you are, let me know. We should talk. If you're building some other kind of robot or a drive system or even a mechanical engineered design, the dynamic series of connectors from TE Connectivity might be a great solution for your next design. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Jennifer Love from TE Connectivity joins me to investigate the design requirements common in robotic applications and why this new flexible connector with its innovative three-point contact design, audible locking system, and dedicated tooling make it a great solution for all kinds of robotic designs. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about TE Connectivity's Dynamic Connector family. Hi, Jen. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Now, we're talking about TE's Dynamic Series for Robotics today. But before we get started, Jen, can you give us some background on the Dynamic Series connectors? Sure. Dynamic is a broad product family that provides connector solutions offering signal and power connectivity in ruggedized industrial sized packages. It has a unique three-point contact design. It also has an audible locking mechanism that allows for fast installation to save time and labor, which leads to efficiency improvements. They're secure operation and minimize downtime, providing reliability with reduced human errors and installation mistakes. All connectors are keyed to prevent mismating and misalignment, and the flexibility between the series gives customers the option for a one-platform solution. The other benefit is there is dedicated tooling available from TE. Dynamic Series is the perfect connector for high-performance connectivity in robotics applications. Excellent. Now, Jen, what kind of options do I have when it comes to these Dynamic Series connectors? Dynamic is an extensive portfolio that offers design flexibility with a complete range of signal and power connections from 3 amps all the way up to 100 amps. There are options for wire to wire, wire to panel, and wire to board. The platform design also allows for use in low signal to high power applications in multiple position sizes, all depending on the series that's chosen. Okay, so where do you see these kind of connectors being a good fit for? Because of its versatility, Dynamic can be used in a variety of applications. Initially, Dynamic Series was designed for use in control system applications, but it can basically be used anywhere high density, signal, and power, and resistance to high shock and vibrations are required. Dynamic has the capability to be a hybrid connector, which is unique in the market. All of these features combined make Dynamic a perfect fit for robotics. Okay, cool. Now, Jen, when we are considering what kind of connectivity to use in our next design, there are some requirements that we need to keep in mind, right? Yes. There are many design requirements that need to be taken into account when choosing a connector, and all are dependent on the type of application. When we're talking about robotics, design becomes even more significant. Some especially important considerations are power and signal needs, which I've talked about, the type of environment the connectors will be exposed to. For example, will they be in a high shock and vibration environment? What is the temperature and moisture level in that environment? Are there specific safety requirements that need to be taken into account? Standard connector solutions that are currently in the market are not designed with all of these requirements in mind, but the dynamic family of connectors is. Cool. Now, Jen, when it comes to connectors, what considerations and challenges should we keep in mind? The final decision on connector design typically comes down to four main things. Performance, positive user experience for sure, lean and flexible manufacturing concepts, 
and the total cost of ownership to the end user. The two biggest challenges in design tend to be speed during development and making sure that the connectivity of all parts of the application are considered from the very beginning. That makes sense. Now, mechanical and electrical performance is also important here as well, right? Correct. Mechanical and electrical performance is key. Connectivity components need to be reliable, especially when we're talking about operating in harsh environments. This video shows how Dynamic is designed to allow each component to work together, providing that robust and reliable connection. Now, Jen, how important is it for connectors to provide a positive experience for users? So connectors must be easy to use for anyone who comes in contact with them. This can include end users, um, technicians that are conducting maintenance, and operators on the assembly line. The contact is made of high conductivity material with three points of contact that allows for constant flow of current without interruption. So maintenance should be very, very minimal, if at all. The dynamic housing is robust and provides a secure and fast installation process for assembly line operators. It's made to operate in environments, like I said, with high shock and vibration, which we see in robotics, and it allows for a long service life and good prevents mismating. And the audible the locking provides assurance of positive mating. So when users are connecting those two pieces together, they know that it's connected and there won't be any issues. That makes sense. Now, I would also imagine that these connectors would be helpful with a modular design approach as well. Exactly. Because of the versatility of the portfolio, modularity is possible when using dynamic connectors. We can easily move within each series as design requirements change, whether it's changing a position size or a contact to achieve different signal or power requirements. All of this can be done by using existing components. We can also combine power and signal contacts into custom solutions to provide a hybrid option. So keeping that modular design in mind, I could also see how this approach could help a manufacturing process as well. Exactly. The modular capability allows for a total low cost of ownership for customers. Dynamic enables connectivity solutions that impact the manufacturing process like automated assembly, 
repeatability, process control, fast installation, and minimize downtime. Okay, great. So Jen, I think that's all the time I have today, but could you recap your main points for me? Of course. It's important to remember Dynamic Series is a versatile product line that can be used for power and signal, including hybrid configurations. The unique three-point contact system and audible and tactile locking is not available from competitive solutions currently in the market. The current carrying capacity ranges from three amps all the way up to 100 amps with options for wire to board, wire to panel, and wire to wire connections. TE also offers dedicated tooling. Dynamic was designed to withstand the rigorous and harsh demand of applications, which are specifically important when we're talking about robotics. Excellent. Well, Jen, I think that's all the time I have for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much. This has been great. And before we go, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from TE Connectivity. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, check out the Chalk Talk section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.